A generation that can cool. 1991, PC. Not this good, actually. This is good. Okay. And we would type. Instead of ships, we had imaginary things in our head. So basically, you logged into a computer, logged into another computer, and then that computer would give you a spaceship simulator program to type into. They ask you, like, do you need the uh, instructions? And you're like, oh, no. Go up, down, yeah, I got this. We took it out. It was not that easy. The first time I got a ship, you know what I did? I crashed it in the neutral zone, the very first planet I went to. I got pulled into orbit, and I crashed. And I got another ship, and it was like, how do you do this? So it was like, hey, try orbiting the planet. So yeah, that works. But anyway, you get a spaceship, so it was good. And then, da da, there's people in space. And you're like, hey, dude, um, dude, your shields are up. Uh, lower your shields, I'll transfer you money, because I got a whole bunch of extra credits. Alright, let me see how to transfer it. Um, let me see the transfer button. Oh, sorry, wrong button. No, no, phaser malfunction. Seriously, no, no, whatever. Anyway, make some friends, make some enemies, or just, you know, flash up. You just warp drive me, it went real fast. So that's what I did in combat. Instead of, you know, flying around on your engines, I'd use my warp drives. Except live, you know, via text, and if you knew what to do, you could wipe out as many people as you want to. Actually, I knew what to do, it was the typing that you couldn't do, so I kind of... Okay, check it out. I was okay at this game, and I got good, but I was a really good coder, so yeah. I could write a program that would warp me from here to there and then shoot you like without even before you could aim and type I could scan you shoot you back and then warp again before you even finish firing I mean because it was a computer program you know I built an AI that flew my ship and it didn't work the first time and it took me a long time before it even ran all day without dying Took me a while before I got up to even kill things, but oh, it wouldn't matter. You couldn't stop it. It was invincible. You know, the university twenty people knew of. Anyway, um, it's a fun game. But if you wanted to go, you had to. Type in exactly how much power you want to put the engines from zero to 100% and you know, 100% maximum engine 50% yeah, you know, and you had your drives warp drives um, Probably the most fun I ever had in my life It was, it was the only game I ever won Bought it to help with your homework We bought it to help with your homework and the household accounts If your dad ever works it all out Looks runs in the library Writing down the pipes and beats Copying an access code Gets a taste for home taping Fetishes start map making Rotten leaves and rubber keys Random run and loading screens And five minutes fingers crossed Hoping not to witness the terror Of our tape loading error Bought it to help with your homework We bought it to help with your homework And the household accounts If your dad ever works it all out ZX Spectrum 81, Dragon Vic and all it won Commodore 64, Amsterdam Dynamic Form Electron Cheaper BBC Micron so Willie Slave and Wolf, Lords of Midnight and the World, Dogs are trying to man to attack, and of course Manic Minor, The Hobbit and Night Lore and Delete. It made a generation who can code, above all before proper consoles, who all know that the games you get today, well they might be very flash, but they'll never beat the thrill of getting
there'd be a bunch of letters, and you type in like fire torpedo ship S, and it would be torpedo block on ship S, torpedo away, sure. You have to like type in your stuff. But it was the Galactic Empire. And for all intents and purposes, it was the very first spaceship I flew. Text user interface. Yeah, high tech. Like, you could. Okay. It was probably the lowest graphics game I've ever played in my entire life, okay? But. What was going on in your head, and what you were doing with those ships, whew, let me tell you. And this game, you, I mean, they, they started making rules like stop blowing up newbies, give people a certain amount of time before you blow their ships up. But the first day I went in there, there were no rules. Three people that jumped me and beat me and pounded me with phasers and torpedoes and blew up my... Yeah. But I survived. I got out of there. And I repaired my ship, and I took off, and I ditched him. It was real funny. He's like, aren't you guys going to chase me? And they're like, mm, you don't even know where you're going. And at that moment, I stopped, because I didn't. And I realized that the universe was really big, and I almost got lost. My second command. First command, I crashed a planet. Second command, I almost lost. And um, the third, I don't know. It was like Zork in space. Like dorks playing zorks. Yeah, but, um. <clears throat> and basic game mechanics is so, you know, you type in fire torpedo ship S. Or T O R S. Torpedo ship S. If you don't ever understand, you need to keep typing commands, and you don't type the exact perfect command, they won't do what you say. Yeah. I don't type so well, and I don't spell so well. But I can, I don't know, write programs, I guess. It sucks, because it was like, a, uh, really, the world's greatest type attack game was ever written. And, um, I wrote a program that would play the world's greatest type game. I mean, it was kind of like defeating the purpose of the game, but, um, being as though I didn't know that it was... A real spaceship hack into uh, technology ships and fire. Uh, no, it wasn't like that. It was a computer game. And I enjoyed it. And I learned a lot. A generation that can cool. A generation. A generation that can cool. A generation that can cool. Works it all out. Looks runs in the library, writing down the pipes and beats, copying an access code. Gets a taste for home saving. Fetishes stop map making. Rotten leaves and rubber keys, random run and loading screens. And five minutes, fingers crossed, hoping not to witness the terror of our tape loading error. We bought it to help with your homework. To help with your homework And the household accounts If your dad ever works it all out ZX Spectrum 81 Dragon Vic and Orin 1 Commodore 64 Amsterdam Dynamic Form Electron Cheaper BBC Micro Jetson Willie Slave and Wolf Laws of Midnight Underworld Also Transamant Attack And of course Manic Minor The Hobbit and Night Lore and Elite it made a generation who can code Above all, before proper consoles Who all know that the games you get today Well, they might be very flash But they'll never beat the thrill of getting through jetpack Oh, hey, hey, 16K What does that get you today? You need more than that for a letter Old school ramp packs are much better